Okay, so I'm gonna view. Beautifully quiet last night. I'll take the noise away. Oh, always too many zips. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Shokran. So what an absolute pleasure that was. <laughs> His daughter's waving. <laughs> yeah, she goes. What an absolute pleasure that was. Thank you. Beautiful. Great room, great hospitality, completely on the off chance. Rocked up last night and they were all having a couscous and tea and cake and nuts outside, about 20 people. Beautiful. So Rashid and his family, uh, absolute delight. Anyway, so today I'm off to uh, Todra Gorge and then back over the top towards uh, Dardes. Apparently there's a beautiful off-road piste there to uh, explore. So yeah, that's where I'm heading next. And maybe we'll see some camels on the way. Who knows? Another day, another camel. So I just uh, parked up in this minibus, dropped these guys off. And uh, I feel like my bike's in the way, I don't know. I'd quite like to get to it, but I kind of feel like I'm imposing. So, guess which one's the tour guide? He's obviously got an eye. Oh, a bit of leg. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I've stumbled across, but... It's different. Yeah, a bit of a love in. Nice. Gotta get the height right, you gotta get the... It's all about perspective. That leg. <laughs> God, look. Right. <coughs> Back in the room. Here we go. Yeah, we're good. Good, right? My bike's free, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make a dash for it whilst we're whilst we've got the moment. It's a look, eh? You know, can't dispute that. Oh, there you go, finale. Anyway, Todra Gorge, yeah, has a lot to offer. It has. Uh, most amazing tour guides and some pretty good geology. So, yeah, back on the road. I've obviously been missing something this holiday and I've just found it. I didn't realise I was missing anything. I thought I was Everything was pretty complete, but it is now. Pigeons having a drink and a wash. Okay, so this is where the water kicks in. <laughs> From who knows where, under there somewhere. Can I see I haven't seen a camera like that for a while on VHS? camcorder. It's got some history.
still no water. It's pretty. So working my way up the valley. It's stunning. Some guys in the cave up there. Obviously working. Look at that. This is quite new. So I'm guessing at the top of here is a thumping big lake. Yeah, okay. Well, it's not a big lake or thumping. It's more of a kind of puddle. But I'm sure the engineers have thought this through. And at the right time of year, there'll be more water than they know what to do with. Sorry about that. What can I say? Well, anyway, if you wanted to know what the bottom of the reservoir looks like, it looks like that. Yeah, one and a half miles away from hanging left and over towards the Dades Valley again. valley I just saw some amazing green it's like an oasis there it is look at that <laughs> kids running away I know I'm scary look at that are absolutely amazing. I don't know whether this camera will pick them up, but the crash barrier. But these are just amazing. Thank you. Shukran. They're taking the shortcut. 
I'm uh, going the long way around. That's where I've come from, down there. If that was rude, I can't say. They got there first. No, tell a lie. Here you go. Like I said, I know nothing. <laughs> anyway, just had a lovely lunch. I wasn't expect wasn't actually planning to have lunch. I was going to drop over coffee, but I ended up having lunch. Normally do. It's how it works, right? And, uh, <coughs> Speak to the guy about my route. He's all good. Let's give me some suggestions about piste and off piste. So the guy who uh, made my uh, burger omelette suggested there was a shortcut across uh, across here. I think it's this one. I mean, there are literally tracks everywhere, so you just kind of have to your senses a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Rock in the bash plate. And, uh, so yeah, this looks like it's kind of going in the right direction. So we'll give it a give it a go. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? of those mountains so this feels about right. A glorious day, good temperature actually, it's sort of mid well low 20s. It feels a little hot when you stop in the sun but with a bit of a breeze passing over it's, uh, it's all good, beautiful riding conditions I gotta say and uh, scenery to die for of course. line. over uh, the plain and uh, just cutting through this range stunning road there's a 
again, just the scale of it. and dash going through these water crossings or whether it's a, a sticky toe in and hold your breath. Okay. Must be quite something to watch or see, I would say. Weird grease. Again, I've been through this one a few times. 